Good evening, you are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives credentials of a number of their Excellencies ambassadors of friendly and sisterly countries accredited to the Sultanate. On behalf of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid As'ad bin Tariq Al Saeed arrives in Riyadh to lead the Sultanate's delegation to the fourth summit of Arab South American countries. Sultan Qaboos Sailing Prize of the Year is awarded to South Africa Association for Sailing Training. And His Excellency the Deputy Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Planning states that the ninth five-year plan will be revised and updated each year according to the economic data. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos received in Hasn al-Shumukh in the Wilaya of Manah this evening the credentials of a number of ambassadors of sisterly and friendly countries accredited to the Sultanate. His Majesty received credentials of His Excellency Roland Dobertran, accredited ambassador to the Sultanate by His Excellency President Francois Hollande of France. Credentials of His Excellency Omar al-Din bin Hajj Abdul Muttalib, accredited ambassador to the Sultanate by His Majesty King Al-Mu'tasim Abdul Halim Mu'addam, Sheikh of Malaysia. His Majesty then received the credentials of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Ramadan, accredited ambassador to the Sultanate by His Excellency President Mahmoud Abbas, President of the State of Palestine, head of the Executive Committee of the Palestinian Liberation Organization.
His Majesty also received credentials of His Excellency Yu Fulong, accredited ambassador to the Sultanate by His Excellency President Xi Jinping of China. His Majesty received credentials of His Excellency Ogor Dogan, our accredited ambassador to the Sultanate by His Excellency President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey. His Majesty then received credentials of His Excellency Jonathan Paul, accredited ambassador to the Sultanate by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland and head of Commonwealth countries.
and His Majesty received credentials of His Excellency Mohammed bin Sultan al Suwaidi, accredited ambassador to the Sultanate by His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, President of the United Arab Emirates. During the sideline meetings, the ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the Sultan greetings and best wishes of the leaders of their countries for His Majesty of good health, happiness and long life and for the Omani people, continuous progress and prosperity under His Majesty's wise leadership. The ambassadors expressed their great honor and delight to present their credentials to His Majesty, stressing their diligence to strengthen relations between their countries and the Sultanate in various spheres to serve joint interests of Omani and their country's people. His Majesty welcomed the ambassadors and thanked the leaders of their countries for their greetings and best wishes, stressing to their excellencies the ambassadors that they will receive every support from His Majesty, the government and the Omani people to facilitate to carry out their missions. The credentials presentation ceremony was attended by His Excellency the Minister of Diwan of the Royal Court, His Excellency the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, His Excellency the Head of the Royal Protocols, the Commander of the Royal Guard of Amman and the Military ADCs of His Majesty the Sultan. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a cable of greetings to His Excellency President Jose Eduardo dos Santos of Angola on his country's National Day. His Majesty the Sultan has received a cable of thanks from His Excellency President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey in reply to His Majesty's cable of congratulations on the 92nd anniversary of the Declaration of the Republic. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Highness Sayyid As'ad bin Tariq Al Sa'id arrived in Riyadh to lead the Sultanate's delegation to the fourth summit of Arab South American countries due to be held later today. His Highness and his accompanying delegation were received at King Khalid International Airport in Riyadh by His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar Al Saud, Governor of Riyadh Province, His Excellency Engineer Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Sultan, Mayor of Riyadh, His Excellency Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Sultanate, His Excellency Dr. Sayyid Ahmed bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Sultanate's Ambassador to the Saudi Arabia and members of the embassy in Riyadh. His Highness Sayyid As'ad bin Tariq Al Sa'id left the Sultanate this morning heading to Riyadh to lead the Sultanate's delegation in the fourth summit of Arab South American countries. His Highness and his delegation were seen off by His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal Al Busaidi, Minister of Interior, his Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed Al Salmi, Minister of Endowments and Religious Affairs. His Excellency Sheikh Saif bin Mohammed Al Shabibi, Minister of Housing. His Excellency Eid bin Mohammed Al Thaqafi, KSA Ambassador to the Sultanate. His Excellency Saif bin Mohammed Al Abri, Secretary General of the Office of His Majesty the Sultan's Representative. The delegation accompanying His Highness Sayyid Asad comprises of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Hamad Al Rumhi, Minister of Oil and Gas, His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Saeed Al Kalbani, Minister of Social Development, His Excellency Mohammed bin Yusuf Al Zarafi, Under Secretary of the Foreign Ministry for Administrative and Financial Affairs, His Excellency Sayyid Dr. Ahmed bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Sultanate's Ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Excellency Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Harthi, Sultanate's Ambassador to Egypt, its permanent delegate to the Arab League. His Excellency Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Badi, Advisor in the Office of His Majesty the Sultan's Representative, and His Excellency Saif bin Ahmed Al Sawafi, Advisor in the Office of His Majesty the Sultan's Representative. Coinciding with the Sultanate's celebration of the 45th Glorious National Day, a ceremony was held to hand over the Sultan Qaboos Sailing Prize in Muscat in its fifth edition. The prize was awarded this year to South Africa Association for Sailing Training. 
His Excellency Nasr bin Hamoud Al Kindi, Secretary General of the Royal Court Affairs, presided over the ceremony. The prize, which awarded to the best institutions, ships, and individuals who provide sailing training services, came according to the royal directives of His Majesty the Sultan. The Supreme Committee for the National Day celebrations announced that it has complete, completed all the preparations for the 45th glorious National Day celebration that will be held at the 11 governorates. His Excellency Sheikh Sba' bin Hamdan Al Saadi, Secretary General of the Supreme Committee for the National Day celebrations, stated that the celebrations include a military parade on November 18th at Hasn al Shumukh in the Wilaya of Manah under the auspices of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. He affirmed that celebrations will be held at all governorates in response to the royal directives of His Majesty the Sultan. These celebrations will showcase the achievements and developments made during the Blessed Renaissance era. The number of Omanis and school students who will take part at this year's festivals stand at 45,000. The ninth five-year plan will be revised and updated each year according to the economic data to confirm with the state's general budget and allow the government to know which projects are prioritized. This was revealed to the Sultanate of Oman Radio and Television by His Excellency Talal bin Suleiman al rahbi Deputy Secretary General for the Supreme Council for Planning. The Secretariat General of the Supreme Council for Planning, SCP, in collaboration with Shell Company, organized today a workshop on preparing scenarios in the field of planning. The workshop was attended by His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Mas'ud al sinedi SCP Deputy Chairman and His Excellency Sultan bin Salim Al Habsi, SCP Secretary General, as well as representatives of a number of public and private organizations. The workshop, which comes within the framework of preparing the five year plan 2016 2020, covered four main themes namely, the new scenarios energy trends and economic developments, social and political trends, and the development of scenarios. Well, uh, this uh, signing in, uh, of the new agreement between uh, our broadband company and the new uh, Awasar uh, service provider for uh, high-speed uh, internet is actually a kind of milestone to uh, uh, country's development in the sector of telecom. Uh, you can see uh, gradually the government is uh, concentrating on uh, fiber optics to provide the uh, high-speed internet uh, to the citizens and to the uh, government uh, buildings and uh, that's coming from a belief that uh, this is a long-term uh, solution the fibers will last really for a long time therefore uh, now uh, Oman Broad Company, Broadband Company is providing and building uh, this uh, network of fibers and giving it to, as a wholesale to uh, uh, service providers. Oman Broadband Company signed an agreement with Awasar Company for Internet Services. It was signed by His Highness Sayyid Taymour bin Asad Al Saeed, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Awasar Company, and by Engineer Saeed bin Abdullah Al Mandiri, Chief Executive Officer of Oman Broadband Company. The agreement is meant to provide super fast fiber based internet connectivity as well as to expand the base of beneficiaries from the broadband network whose number reaches more than 70,000 units in Muscat. The service will be inaugurated at the beginning of the coming year to all beneficiaries in Al Khod, Mawalih, Al Hail, Ma'bela, Qurum Beach, and Ghubra, aiming to boost the digital infrastructure in the Sultanate to fulfill the increasing demands of commercial and housing sectors. A ceremony was held to mark Oman's 45th glorious National Day at Islam Message Exhibition taking place in UNESCO. A host of diplomatic authorities and intellectuals are taking part in this event. Omani artists presented performances under the theme of the three main concepts, mainly tolerance, understanding and coexistence.
still to come in our news bulletin. Coinciding with the Sultanate celebrations of the glorious 45th National Day, the 11th edition of Omani Song Festival is inaugurated. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. Under the patronage of His Highness Sayyid Kamal bin Fahad Al Saeed, a ceremony to honor the volunteers of cancer awareness was held. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubi'i. With the vision to make Oman have the lowest incidence of cancers and decrease and modify the burden of disease of cancers in the community, the Oman Cancer Association conducted a ceremony to recognize all those involved in spreading cancer awareness by working with the stakeholders and specifically with every member of the community in the fight against cancers through advocacy, education, capacity building, knowledge sharing, empowerment and research. The association's motto, regular, repeated examination supports early detention and diagnosis resulting in total cure. Under the theme, we will go forward for you. The campaign for spreading awareness to the public have been implemented by over 35 volunteers. On this occasion, His Highness the Chief Guest thanked Dar al Hanan on their role towards spreading awareness to the public. It is worth uh, mentioning that since its registration from the Ministry of Social Development in 2004, the association has successfully organized and implemented a number of programs and projects in the last 14 years directed to the community. Among the many projects organized by the association are the Mobile Mammography Unit, Palliative Care, Walkathon. In a speech delivered on this occasion, Dar al Hanan was highlighted. The brainchild of Yuthara Rawahi that has brought closer the associations with the Ummanal and the group Sanubadr Min Ajlikum. It is a home away from home. The formation of Dar al Hanan was to alleviate and create an atmosphere that will allow and give the children with cancer who are living outside the capital area, Masqat, to give a chance an equal opportunity to these children just like their colleagues who are living within the capital Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubii Sultanate of Oman television His Excellency Lieutenant General Hassan bin Muhsin al-Shariqi Inspector General of Police and Customs received Lieutenant General Andrew Bush commander of American Defense Logistics Supplies. During the meeting, they discussed development of relations in security field as well as aspects related to police work. The Royal Army of Oman, RAO, celebrated today the graduation of a new batch of recruits during a ceremony held under the auspices of Major General Abdullah bin Ali Al-Harthi, Chairman of the Public Authority for Civil Defense and Ambulance. At the beginning of the ceremony, the graduates performed the military salute. Then the chief guest inspected the first row. The graduates then staged a military parade by marching in slow motion accompanied with the RAO musical band. Then the chief guest distributed appreciation certificates to the distinguished graduates at various activities and competitions. After, they, after that, the graduates chanted RAO and them, took the oath of loyalty and chanted thrice, long live His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. On the sidelines of the graduation ceremony, the fourth woman military music band was launched. The music band was recently formed at the Royal Army of Oman as it performed various musical pieces.
The Directorate General of Fish Research organized the workshop on the future of fish feed industry in the Sultanate. The workshop aimed to get acquainted with the modern techniques in fish powder industry. During the workshop, scientific work papers of pisciculture were presented by experts and specialists from various local and private institutions. The Omani Song Festival in its 11th edition was inaugurated under the auspices of His Excellency Ahmed bin Abdullah al-Shahi, Minister of Regional Municipalities and Water Resources. The festival, which is organized by the Ministry of Heritage and Culture, coincided with the Sultanate celebrations of the glorious 45, 45th National Day and the activities of Nizwa, Capital of Islamic Culture 2015. It comes to contribute to the cultural and artistic mobility witnessed by the Sultanate in the current period, pointing out that the festival will host a joint work by the six contestants in addition to other four singers. Port Sultan Qaboos in Matrah received today the Qatari ship Fath Al Khair II under the auspices of His Excellency Sayyid Ahmed bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Wali of Matrah, with the presence of a number of Their Excellencies, ambassadors of the GCC countries, officials, and citizens. The ship Fath Al Khair II carried 35 sailors, out of which three of them are Omanis. The reception ceremony included traditional marine songs and exchange of souvenirs. The ship aimed to revive Qatari marine heritage and embodied Gulf interdependence. Oman Air has been awarded Corporate Social Responsibility CSR Initiative of the Year at the 9th Aviation Business Awards. The award was presented in recognition of Oman Air's work to, mark air to make air travel easier for people in lo on low incomes. Oman Air's recognition follows a long-term program which has increased access to air travel for people living on low incomes in Oman. The program consists of two elements. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's news bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives credentials of a number of Their Excellencies ambassadors of friendly and sisterly countries accredited to the Sultan. On behalf of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said arrives in Riyadh to lead the Sultanate's delegation to the fourth summit of Arab South American countries. Sultan Qaboos Sailing Prize of the Year is awarded to South Africa Association for Sailing Training. And His Excellency the Deputy Secretary General for the Supreme Council for Planning states that the ninth five-year plan will be revised and updated each year according to the economic data. With that we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. It's good night.